This is a villain, and not just any villain, a hot villain. No! My morality! It's melting! This movie has had TikTok in a tizzy because of this man, this very attractive man, I believe the actor is Tom Blythe. Having him play Young Snow in the prequel to The Hunger Games is just setting up many of the audience. There are a couple of different camps that I've noticed when looking at people's reactions to the movie and him in particular. The kind of sarcastic camp of like, oh my god, like I want him so bad, but also you know that they're joking. Maybe. <laughs> And then there's a group of people that are like, I hate Snow, but I do love Tom Blythe. And those are probably the least problematic of the group. Um, where am I? I can't say. The other group is just like, you know what? I know Snow is evil, but I can change him. I can risk it. Honestly, let me be the grass. You can mow me over. Like... <laughs> In that same group, I just think this is funny, but there are like a bunch of people being like, Lucy Gray is stronger than me because, you know, she saw the red flags and she left. He went crazy, she left. She's gonna say, you got three bodies. What's the third? Um, yeah, the old Snow can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because he's, ooh, look what she made me do. Look what she made me do. Me personally, I'm so gullible. I would have like just taken him at face value and be like, oh yeah, you're so real. I just feel like this is just commentary for life people are saying that they would ignore the red flags because he's just so hot which you know i, I know y'all do that in real life i know y'all do that to that nasty grimy little man who is breaking your heart right now but you're not seeing the red because you think he's hot and he's probably not ah sorry 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 he's probably not ah. personality wise you can do better babe and also looks wise Having a villain be the main character is already like hard for the audience because you know it's the main character so you want to root for them but also they're a hot main character so you double want to root for them. When I was watching the movie you know I wasn't super blinded by his looks right I was still like oh my god he's a terrible person but I kept having to remind myself that it's a villain origin story because I was looking for him to change. I was looking for him to like see the light throughout the entire movie it was tough guys. It was so tough. I was in love with his potential. No. I saw that he was a scary man. I saw that he was a bad, scary man. For me, that didn't really take away from how hot he was. It was just me constantly flip flopping between damn and damn. Hey! When they said the Ballad of Songbirds and Snake, so they meant that. There is definitely a purpose to having an attractive villain in the movie. Uh, first of all, to sell tickets. Mm. Capitalism at its finest. We live in a society. Yum, yum, yum. Money, money, money. Chomp, chomp. <laughs> people like seeing hot people in movies, especially as the main character. So they gonna show up. For other movies or media, there's a very specific reason why someone would cast a hot person in the role, right? Because they're trying to send a message. They're trying to like say something about the world. An example of this is Jennifer's Body. I just rewatched that movie. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Basically, it's a slightly more serious version of Bottoms, if you watch that, and also a lot more monstrous. It's about a victim turned villain. Was she the villain all along? Once you get to the end, I don't know. You might you might have some thoughts. She's a very attractive girl. But that's intentional because the men that, you know, she's going on a rampage about constantly underestimate her because of her looks. Like, oh, she's a pretty little girl. She can't possibly hurt us. <sighs> and that was your last mistake. And I feel like the commentary behind her pretty is very different, but you know, a little similar to like Regina George, right? Because you know, she's like this popular girl. Everyone loves her because she's beautiful, because she's pretty. And like, we live in a society and a lot of people just like let her let things slide because she's so beautiful. Though I wonder if like the commentary or like reactions from audiences are like the same with um, attractive male villains versus attractive female villains. Because I personally, Personally, I haven't really seen a movie with an attractive female main villain character like in The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. The only thing that I could really think of is Maleficent, which is also kind of a villain origin story, but I feel like the point of it is that she's actually not evil. And also, she's not meant to be seen as pretty. She's meant to be seen as ugly, even though it's Angelina Jolie. But she does look a little scary, you know? She got the horns. Ah! Ah! It's a little off-putting, but again, it's still Angelina Jolie. 
And the reason why people might be conflicted about attractive villains and like their morality, right, is because we like to associate good qualities with attractiveness. You see a physically attractive person, you're more likely to think that they have other attractive qualities, like that they're nice and sweet and generous. And you just are more likely to make these assumptions of them, even if those might not be true and even in the face of being proved wrong, even in real life. Yeah. Stay safe out there, girls. And, you know, there are times where maybe the attractive villain's attractiveness is taken away and all of a sudden, oh, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Like in the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, a lot of people, not me though, <laughs> a lot of people when Snow shaved his head were like, oh, yeah, he, so he is a bad guy. Yep. Yeah. So he is a tyrant. He is a malicious, terrible person without remorse. Me personally... I don't even like shaved hair, but I don't know, Tom's life made me change my mind. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I've also seen a lot of TV shows where they'll have a villain that you've seen everyone be like, oh, I hate this guy because, you know, he's terrible. And also they're drawn to be ugly. Suddenly for an episode become beautiful and everyone starts treating them differently, even though they still act the same. And obviously, obviously that is commentary about pretty privilege and how people will ignore negative qualities if you're attractive a lot of the times. I have a lot of like cartoon examples. Like in Phineas and Ferb, there's an episode where Dr. Doofenshmirtz becomes super attractive and then everyone is just blindly listening to whatever he says and following him around like puppy dogs. And he's like, oh my god, wait, can you like make me the mayor? And they're like, duh. And he's like, wait, can you like follow my every order and do what I say? And they're like, yeah. And then Perry makes him look how he does again and everyone's like oh adventure time also had an episode where the ice king shaved his beard and the princesses who found him repulsive because <sighs> he's so weird and he would lock them up and like it was weird barf barf me up a chainsaw he shaved his beard and all of a sudden the princesses were like oh my god whatever you want he's so hot oh you said you're the nice king no way and then of course when he got his beard back they were like get out of here and then infamous handsome Squidward. People treat you differently when you look differently. I haven't really seen this commentary transformation with female girl villains, right? Where maybe she is not conventionally attractive, but then she becomes conventionally attractive and then everyone is suddenly bearing to her every whim. Obviously there are the movies where like the girl is wearing glasses and then she takes them off and everyone's like, oh my God, you're gorgeous. Not with villains, not with girl villains. I wonder if it would have that same effect and I wonder if we would like interpret it the same way as we do with like the male villains that go from unconventionally attractive to attractive and then everyone's like ah oh, whatever you say. I don't know. Another purpose of attractive villains is when they're trying to throw you off because again you see something attractive, you see someone attractive, you think that they're the good guy just cause, just cause they're pretty. Why would he hurt me? He's hot. Probably best example of this and maybe you saw the plot twist. Okay. I'm, I'm just super gullible. Hans from Frozen. Through the whole movie. Oh, there's this sweet guy. He's so cute. Oh, no. No, he is, he is bloodlust. All right. Power on the brain. And, you know, it, it's a great plot twist. It's a great plot twist because it's like, I never saw it coming. Personally. Personally, I never saw it coming. Maybe you did. You probably did, honestly. I'm very gullible, like I said. But I think that's a great use of, like, attractiveness in a villain because it throws you off. You're not expecting them to be bad because they're, they're, they're just so pretty. And of course, there are also shows and movies where like the main character is not conventionally attractive. And so people just assume so many bad things about them because they're like, oh, you must have all these bad qualities. It does work the opposite way. And that's very sad. Of course, there are so many examples of the effect of real life pretty privilege where people get accused and are convicted of crimes. But the general public is like, oh my God, they're so hot. Let them go. Let them go. Where, of course, there are examples of people who had mugshots taken and the next thing you know, they have a modeling contract. And, you know, of course, the real life implication of your crush, who uh, probably has a lot of red flags, but they're hot. I'm going to need you to write down everything good about that man. And if it's just because of his face, uh, you might have to reevaluate some things. I just want to look at who BuzzFeed thinks is an attractive villain. This article is brought to you by BuzzFeed called 21 movie villains that we are weirdly attracted to. Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. <sighs> the quote underneath it says, if Belle doesn't want him, I'm a single lady who wouldn't mind a little Gaston in my life. Not my man, not my man. The Joker. Um, can't say that one. Someone said Pennywise. Pennywise is making you question your morality? Er, er, 
Someone said the old President Snow, like OG President Snow. If you're looking for a sugar daddy and that's your thing, who am I? Closing thoughts are sometimes people are hot. Okay, bye!